Uh, it's dark out. Nauseating fluorescent light cycle in and out of my vision. How long have I been asleep? Where am I? Why are you here? Whoa! Slept well? Why is she smiling like that? Sorry, do you know where we are right now? What a stupid question. We're right here. What's wrong with her? Hell, just ask the driver. Excuse me! Driver! When's the next stop? Please stay seated. I'm sorry? Please, stay seated. <sighs> Whatever. I can figure this out myself. Click around to investigate. Why well, can click around to investigate? Uh, what about the brake glass thing? Emergency use. Don't mind if I do then. The hammer shattered like glass. The woman grins wider. Very funny. All right, let's see. What about the booklet here? Yeah. A yellowing travel brochure. I can barely make out what's written on it. Everywhere you dream. Anywhere you desire, slip into a world you never knew. The rest is illegible. Interesting, isn't it? To be anywhere and everywhere at the same time? Must be agonizing. The dull glint in her eye scares me. Right, what about the, uh, what about the cotton? No, what about the sticker? Like, the rose sticker. The sticker is some sort of flower. It looks like it was once red, but faded to white over time. It's the only thing here that isn't off-putting. Shall I peel it off then? Look at your mortified face, as if I'm going to rip apart something I put up myself. It's strange. I used to love this flower so much, but now I can't even remember its name. The stranger loses herself in her own thoughts. Right, uh, what about the writing? Huh. Words are scribbled on the side. Become nothing else ever again. And a phone number? What are you doing? But uh, ma'am! 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 What are you doing? You look like you, you look like it came straight off a Junji Ito panel! Forget it. They don't mean anything. Really? Would you rather me rip out your eyeballs? That's what I thought. Uh, what about the scratched out ones? Where's the scribble on the side? Oh, okay, we've already seen all this. Scrip Let's skip right ahead. What about the glass? Let's look at the glass. Everything's a blur. Like my brain is suffocating in fog as thick as the one outside. I don't recognize anything, but I feel like I'm supposed to. It's just- what? Wait, what did they- what did that say? I'm getting a headache. Right, what about the seat behind us? No? Okay, what about the cross on your neck? Do you believe in it? In such frivolous things? Why does that matter? It'd be amusing to see you lose the last glimmer of hope and faith. Your crying face mangled in horror as you realize your god can't save you now. Just kidding. I better stop talking. Ugh. <sighs> What am I doing? I can just get out at the next stop and... Wait. Wait, what is happening? Why is the bus suddenly so unsteady? Driver! Please stay seated. Stop saying that! Please stay seated. The hell? Something sharp digs into me. God, ah, I can't move! L let go! Don't think you can run from me. <laughs> but... If you can answer this question, I'll let you go. Huh? So tell me. Who am I? Uh, I guess you're an ex? I don't know. Oh, uh, well, we're no one, someone, everyone, anyone. Where? what? Does this matter? Wait. Wait, is there a hidden answer? Is there a hidden answer? Is there is there one? Is there a hidden answer? I feel like there's probably a hidden answer somewhere. Uh, everyone. Fine. 
In a daze, I trudged past the stale seats, stepped out the bus, and onto the all-too-familiar pavement of my neighborhood. The dim light cast down on me was prickly and warm. But right before the bus pulled away, See you soon. Those words, dripping with sweet venom, crawled its way into my ears and latched onto my brain. From then on, everyone, anyone, they were all her. I want to see my family again, hear their laughter, feel their touch. But there's only her, her thin smile, her grating voice, and her cold, dead hands. Ending too. Huh. So if you actually replay the game, uh, it actually notes that she seems familiar somehow. You're back? After all that? I'm flattered. Sorry, do you know where we are right now? Skipping right along, and let's see. Let's look at the flower sticker. Look at the book, okay. Look at your pendant, okay. Let's look outside, and you know everything's a blur. Let's try to break the glass, and it don't work. And now... Camille? Huh. But, 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 I want to know, what if I said no one? Her smile twist into a miserable sneer. How cruel. Her nails dig into my skin and stay there. Who am I? I don't remember. In fact, I don't remember anything at all. Did I have a family? Friends? Even those words sound hollow to me. All I do now is sit beside the stranger. My flesh has melted into the seat till I can feel my bones scrape against the itchy bus fabric. The grumbling of the bus. The stench of feces, gamey meat, and fruit jam rotting and blistering under the summer sun. I'm hungry. Ending three. The fruit jam? Did I become fruit jam? So what if I said you were someone? Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Um! I tore away from the stranger's grasp and scrambled off the bus as fast as I could. Not once did I look back, nor think about where I was going to go. But as I stood in the middle of nowhere, thick, damp fog swallowing everything but the rows of flickering lampposts that stretched out to the ends of the universe, I realized my mistake. I fell on my knees and pressed my hands together. Shaky, desperate, I prayed. God... Please let me wake up from this nightmare. But there was no answer. Not even wind blew. Ending one. Lost. So, I'm guessing if I said Camille, it's gonna lead to the true ending. Anyone and everyone leads to, like, the same ending, by the way. So, Camille. My name. That's my name. A tight smile stretches across her face. Bittersweet. She looks... Human. After the stranger left the bus, the fog cleared and my neighborhood began to roll into view. As the bus rumbled onwards, I peered out the window. She stood at a bus stop, waving and smiling from afar until she disappeared into the horizon. Then I turned back and closed my eyes. That's what you wanted, right? For your name to be burned into my being, whether in my memories or nightmares. Fine. You win. Camille. True ending. Camille. So that was another stranger. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this game for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. And that was a that was a pretty cool story. I'll have to admit, like I loved the horror imagery in this, and like I I think I'm probably gonna need a moment to actually process like what the story was trying to say, but. Perhaps, like, Camille was someone who was important to us. I don't know. But, yeah, this this is going to leave me, like, think about it for a while. And, God, I uh, hope someone actually has a theory in the comments. But, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.